Now, this video is all about one of the most fascinating forbidden areas in Warcraft, containing a hidden cathedral and a secret Atlantis-like zone entirely underwater. It is extremely difficult to access even for a veteran exploiter. The location doesn't even exist in the open world. It's hidden away in the Isle of Conquest battleground. Now, normally when you try and leave the main island of Conquest area, you'll be insta-killed when you go too far out of bounds. Blizzard are not messing around here. They want a scenic backdrop, but players actually accessing the Forbidden Area is terrifying to them because you can often come up with weird exploits in game areas which naturally don't have checks on them to do things like use items you couldn't normally use in a battleground. Fortunately, a couple of weeks ago, the very talented exploiter by the name of Alec S.O.D. came up with an amazing invincibility exploit, one of the best hacks I've seen in years. Alec is right up there with the very best exploiters like Rex Troy and WoW Secrets. It's well worth giving his channel a look. Sadly, the invincibility exploit has now been fixed, but I did manage to get this footage before that happened. While the exploit was active, you could glitch your character to become completely immune to damage, and that included the insta-kill mechanic here in Isle of Conquest, so briefly I could just run around and explore to my heart's content. If you jump down and water walk to the right of the hangar area of IOC, you'll notice this mysterious island in the distance. You'll notice it is not actually on the IOC map, even though several other islands are shown. This is probably because Blizzard didn't anticipate anyone actually getting out here. As we get closer, you can see this large, beautifully designed cathedral. Why on earth would Blizzard put a large, intricate cathedral in the middle of nowhere? As we reach the island, it becomes clear why. We leave the Isle of Conquest area and enter the zone of Ice Crown. So what Blizzard did here was take a huge chunk of Northrend from the open world and build the Isle of Conquest inside it. The cathedral is actually the Crimson Cathedral of Onslaught Harbour, created by the Scarlet Onslaught that you might remember from cresting in Northrend. So is this just a carbon copy of Northrend? In fact, this area has a lot more secrets to uncover, as we'll see. Note that the interesting cave complex under the cathedral that exists in the original Onslaught Harbour has been blocked off here. Now, if we leave Onslaught Harbour and head straight for the mountains, we find this weirdly fascinating single starfish. Go around to the right, past the mountains, and flip back. And then you'll come to these rocks with this wreck of a ruined ship on them. Now, this looks like an impassable barrier, but in fact we can ride straight past it. And you'll see from our surroundings that the zone has now changed. We are no longer in Ice Crown. So where are we? Because there's no waterlogged zone like this anywhere in Northrend. It seems the further we go, the greater the mystery. And you'll see this Titan structure. It looks like something out of Strand of the Ancients. But if you look closely, it's actually from Sholazar Basin. Look closer still, and you'll see something is very wrong with this incarnation of Sholazar. It's almost entirely underwater. This is one of my favourite finds in all of Warcraft's forbidden and secret areas. These trees which burn endlessly and impossibly underwater are a testament to the way the ghost in the machine can craft unintentional, fascinating beauty out of chaos. Why did Blizzard create an underwater version of this zone? Probably because they wanted Isle of Conquest itself at a level which didn't match the original geography of Northrend very well something which doesn't really matter for gameplay purposes, as normally no one would ever come out here. Visually, this flooded area is like a mod of Warcraft, created by an enthusiast who morphed the terrain. Now, if we carry on, we'll eventually come to what is more typically found in normally inaccessible areas of Warcraft, an endless plane stretching out onto infinity. 
If you go to the very edge of the map, your character will be stuck permanently and fall forever without being able to escape. Now, there's definitely more to discover here. I know that in the past it was possible to die in the cathedral and use a ghost griffin to fly into this battlegrounds version of Ice Crown Citadel, but that trick seems to have been fixed. There are some very advanced methods I know which would allow you to fly in this battleground, but I don't want to risk exposing them publicly right now, so for the time being they will be kept on my Patreon.